Since the very beginning of this crisis, I've been encouraging business leaders to intentionally structure their meeting environments. Now, the combination of this external crisis we're facing and the physical distance that we have between us is a recipe for disaster in your meetings. In good times, it's hard to run great meetings, and in crisis, it requires an even greater degree of intentionality. So if you've not structured your meetings yet, or if you're still having trouble getting your meetings to work well, consider using this set of four meetings that was created by Patrick Lencioni. Number one, the daily check-in. Whether you're in the same room or virtual, you need to get together each day for about five to 15 minutes to check in, to coordinate the day, and to keep everyone moving in the same direction. You can start with any items that are past due, then hit anything that's due today or tomorrow, and then talk through any significant roadblocks or fires that are going to need to be worked. Resist the urge, though, to solve everything in the meeting. Most things can be handled more effectively outside of the meeting. The daily check-in is just there not to solve everything, but to help you stay in sync. Second is the weekly tactical, and this is where the magic happens. You get your whole leadership team together, and I like to start by reviewing your standard metrics, then review your progress toward your goals, and finally systematically tackle any issues that come up, starting with the most important one. Feel free to delegate less important issues to one or two team members so that you can keep your meeting at 45 to 90 minutes at the most. Now, if you're new to this, you're you're likely going to be closer to that 90 minutes, but you want to work to shorten it as much as you can. Third is the strategic ad hoc. And with things changing so quickly and across all of society, it's going to affect almost every part of your business, but you can't fix everything in just one 90 minute meeting each week. So When a strategically important issue comes up, one that requires careful focus and planning, don't try to cram it into the weekly tactical. Instead, schedule a strategic ad hoc meeting where you can focus on that one issue. They usually take two, maybe three hours, but they can be unbelievably productive. The fourth is the quarterly offsite. Now, these don't necessarily need to be offsite. Amid a crisis, that's often an unaffordable luxury. However, Even if you can't get away with your team for a few days, you still need to take the time to plan and review strategically. During these meetings, take time to discuss what's working and what isn't working. Make sure that you all have a a clear vision of success and, and make sure everyone's on board with that one vision. Now, if you've put your offsite on hold in March or April, then you're probably starting to feel a little bit of the drift, but it's not too late to change course. So pull up your calendar and get it scheduled. You'll be so glad you did. Now, this new meeting structure, what it's gonna do, it's gonna bring so much peace and consistency and quality to your decision-making process. It really is a game changer. And to take it to the next level, you're going to want to encourage open disagreement in meetings, then require absolute commitment afterwards. If that sounds interesting, check out the next video and I'm gonna show you how to do just that.